The Community Outreach, we are a local nonprofit ministry that is focused specifically in the, the Sioux Falls com community on preventing homelessness. We do that through financial literacy, uh, through mentorship, and then when it is appropriate for a family or that situation, financial resources to keep that family housed. We actually find and identify volunteer mentors, maybe someone like you, uh, who would be able to sit down and meet with a, a individual. And honestly, you get to know the person. You have a relationship, a friendship, and you talk about the issues and challenges in life that they're facing. One story specifically that's always stood out to me um, is the story of Crystal, who is a single mom with two kids. Crystal was paired with a, a mentor, Jen, uh, who had four kids her, herself, and so they really had a great bond and connection over being mothers together. Well, Crystal is or was working three jobs uh, and was constantly struggling um, and frankly found out um, through conversations with Jen, she hated the fact that she had to be the mom who said no all the time to her kids. Mom, can we go to the movies? Mom, I want to go to Disneyland, can we do that? And it just felt like it was this constant weight on her soul that she was not able to provide for, for her family in that way. So when Crystal and Jen would sit down and they would talk, they related over those experiences of, of being mothers and they realized that this was a, a big drag. Uh, and when they were looking at her budget and, and her finances, they started to see that there were two, three hundred dollars a month that Crystal was spending on fast food. What we began to realize as, as they had those conversations is that was her outlet to be the mom who could say yes. Her mom heart felt good because she was feeding her kids. She was getting them food. She was able to say yes um, when they, they had that opportunity. And, you know, it probably only felt like 10 or $15. The solution they came up with was just brilliant, but it was so simple. If fast food was the trigger, they stopped driving on certain roads. So instead of taking Minnesota Avenue in town, take Phillips Avenue. Instead of going down 41st Street, take 33rd. You remove some of those temptations and challenges and she's able to start having a, a better impact on, on her kid. God's love is limitless in, in its time and it, it sometimes takes a long time for those, those relationships to really come to fruition and to, to see ultimately what, what fruit was born from that, that process.